Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the latest political drama unfolding in Canada's Parliament. The House of Commons has come to a standstill, and it's all because of some serious allegations of corruption. Let's break it down. So what's going on? Recently, the Conservatives have accused the Liberals of corruption, specifically related to a program they've dubbed the Green Slush Fund. This program was supposed to fund green technology projects, but the Conservatives claim there's been some serious mismanagement of funds. The Green Slush Fund refers to the Sustainable Development Technology Canada, a foundation established in 2001 to finance businesses in the clean tech industry. In 2021, SDTC entered into a five-year agreement with the federal government to manage a $1 billion fund aimed at supporting sustainable technology projects. However, the fund came under intense scrutiny following a scathing report by the Auditor General, which highlighted significant lapses in the management of federal funding. The report pointed out issues such as conflicts of interest and mismanagement of public funds. Whistleblowers within the organization secretly recorded conversations that revealed outright incompetence and alleged that senior officials were funneling taxpayer money to startups and accelerators with ties to liberal insiders. These revelations have fueled the Conservative Party's accusations of corruption against the liberal government. The controversy escalated when the Conservatives demanded the release of unredacted documents related to the fund. They argue that these documents should be handed over to the RCMP for a potential criminal investigation. The Liberals, however, have resisted, claiming that such a move would blur the lines between Parliament and the police. Despite the controversy, it's important to note that SDTC has been instrumental in supporting numerous green technology projects across Canada. The Foundation's goal was to drive innovation and help Canada transition to a more sustainable future. However, the allegations of mismanagement have cast a shadow over its achievements. So there you have it, a deeper look into the Green Slush Fund and the political storm it's created. As always, we'll keep you updated as more details emerge. Conservative House Leader Andrew Scheer has been very vocal about this. He says the Liberals are more interested in bogging down Parliament with debates than handing over documents related to this fund. House Speaker Greg Fergus even ruled that the government didn't fully comply with an order to provide these documents. The debate has been intense. Scheer moved a motion to refer the issue to a committee for further study, and the House has been stuck on this debate ever since. He insists that the documents should be handed over to the RCMP for a potential criminal investigation. On the other side, Liberal House Leader Karina Gould argues that this request is an abuse of Parliament's power and infringes on the charter rights of Canadians. She claims the Conservatives are just trying to disrupt Parliament for their own political gain. This isn't the first time we've seen such a standoff in Canadian politics. Remember back in 2009 when the Conservatives were in power? There was a similar dispute over government documents related to the treatment of Afghan detainees. Fast forward to today and the tension is palpable. The Liberals are trying to navigate this storm while also dealing with demands from the Bloc Québécois and the NDP. The Bloc has given the government until the end of October to meet their demands on old age security and immigration control. Bloc leader Yves-Francois Blanchet has made it clear that if the Liberals don't deliver, he'll work with other opposition parties to bring down the government. Meanwhile, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has stated that his party won't let the Conservatives call the shots. Adding to the drama, the Conservatives have already tabled two non-confidence motions against the Trudeau government. Both were defeated, but more are expected before Christmas. If any of these motions pass, it could trigger a snap election. So, what does this mean for Canadians? Well, the political landscape is incredibly volatile right now. With Parliament at a standstill and potential elections on the horizon, it's a critical time for Canadian politics. We'll keep you updated as this story develops. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know your thoughts on this political showdown in the comments below. Until next time, stay informed.